Hey guys, I uh, came across something on the internet. Um, it was very interesting. Uh, powerlifting or weightlifting in prison. What caught my attention was they said was how the prisoners are very limited in certain things. And just like on the outside, how we can have access to all these weights and supplements and, you know, um, this uh, assist devices. And in prison, we don't have that. Um, it just caught my attention, you know. It makes you think, like, why do we need all these supplements and things like that? And these people in prison are... Um, they don't have any of that. But I don't know. Some of us might argue, you know, what if they get steroids or whatever melt to them? But, well, well, just wanted to share it. So, enjoy. <laughs> Egos and the Chismo are in the air tonight. The competition for the prison's weightlifting championship is about to begin. do it. We're going to do all the squatting tonight. We're going to do all the benching tomorrow night. We're going to do all the deadlifts on Monday night. Start warming up. First three classes. We're going to start in 10 minutes. Lifting weights on the street is a little different because you got everything out there to be happy about. But being in prison here is in a very oppressive place. So you got to find ways to basically uplift your spirits and not sulk. So this is our kind of way here in the gym. You know, when we have our bad days, you know, we'll just come in here and we'll release that pain because we don't want to release it on no inmates, you know what I'm saying? Right. What these weights does, they alleviate a lot of aggression that one could definitely turn outward toward another human being. It channels all of that negativity and all of that uh, energy build up during the day of not doing anything. This is the glue that keeps us together. But Whenever I give you the okay to, uh, to squat, my arm go down, I'm gonna say squat too. Go down and come right back up. Don't wait on me. Only I'm going to do after that, I'm gonna take the racket. Now don't wait at the bottom. On, okay, bar's loaded. Here we go. Step, state champ this year in the 220 weight class. But it, it makes me feel good to be a, you know, to be a champ. State champ? I ain't the champ for nothing. You got some of the hardcore the dudes in prison, you know, and everybody want to be the man in prison, really, you know what I'm saying? They want to shine and want the big name, you know, but sports is what make you shine in here, you know, not what you had on the street. People don't care about that. They don't, you know, that's the same penitentiary stories that you hear every day. Here we go. Good lockout. I got money, I got money. I got money. There we go. Good depth. Bring it up. Got it. Racket. Stay chill. Good job. 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 I like, I like when I have to fight something, you know what I'm saying? To take a lot of pain away that I go through. 
a lot of stress, you know what I mean? That's what we do it for, for the love of it. For the love of it, yeah. Bell, you next. Where your mind at? Yeah, where your mind at? He does a good job getting yourself. I have six other brothers, and a lot of them are off into uh, bodybuilding or powerlifting. I got a couple of brothers who are professional powerlifters, but I've been involved in weights itself since I was 11 and 12 years old. Everybody's competitive in the family. That's a family tradition, you know. Uh, always pushing the envelope. Good Squat. Down we go. Good down. Right now, I feel powerful, I feel positive, and I don't feel that there's anybody in this prison in my weight class that could uh, outlift me in any other, in any given day. Let me tell you that, man. I've been training for this for a long time. The first one is the best one. I just needed to get this on the board. Squat. About a year and a half ago, the rivalry between the white and blacks was pretty bad. And this time, they're rooting for each other. They want everybody to succeed. And I, I noticed that myself. I, I, I like that part of it because uh, in here, in here, it's just it's not white and black. It's we're all together. That's the Holy Spirit inside me, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Don't look at Hank. Look at what God can do in any man's life. He always gets fired up. He gets all the rest of them fired up too when he does that. It's a technique sport. You know, if you don't have your mechanics and your technique right, you can really be hurt. I've seen some guys break their backs on the street and in prison uh, doing squats. Squat! There we go. Come on! Walk it down. Walk it down. Better, yeah, you know? we we winning our weight class. That's that's <laughs> yeah. that's the main thing, you know. Yeah, we right. just going for all time yeah. personal. You Monday, know what I'm saying? Our Monday's best, you know. Be the best. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't execute those last two lifts, man. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. I had it, but it just rolled on my neck. I couldn't recover. Yeah. You know, because I felt myself. I felt myself here. Yeah. Coming up. But yeah. I just could have had to dump. But you was up was higher than there. You you was that part that far from locking out. out. Yeah. Man, yeah. We still got two events. We got the bench tomorrow. Yeah, we winning on Wednesday. And uh, the deadlift is going to be the best lift. Yeah. It's going to be the best lift. Day two of the prison's annual weightlifting championship is underway. Bell Gibbons holds the state prison's record for the bench press in the 220-pound division. Tonight, he's going for 420 pounds, five pounds above his state record. Good breath. Are you 
got it. Easy money. Come on. Yes, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it feels good. He didn't wait for a wreck signal. So uh, that 420 pounds was no good. They'll have to lift on his neck, make his third attempt for the record. I got it, but I racked it too quick. I got to wait for the uh, judges to say rack. All the yelling going around, I couldn't really hear him say it. This may be a sporting event, but the participants are far from ordinary. In this weight room, there are murderers, armed robbers, rapists, and standover thugs. The one thing that unites them is their criminality. This is a dangerous room, because if somebody gets out of line and don't care, you take a five-pound plate and knock you out, you know, you're done. And it's never happened yet. Nobody's, nobody's used one. We had a guy come out of the basketball court one time, took a plate and was heading out the door with it. We stopped him. He was going to go out there and use it as a weapon. Defender Bell got into it with a fellow over there, and I went and got right in between them, and I probably shouldn't have. They were, they were like face off to each other and doing this thing, you know, and I... Uh, I, I stopped that because they, they were both big guys. One, two, three. That day he was mad. I knew if I didn't go over and get between them two guys and they got hooked up, I was going to have to call in troops because <laughs> I, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. But he, he backed off. But, uh, you know, once they got started, you couldn't stop them. You, not by yourself. But they have enough sense, too, to know that if they ever do anything in here, it's going to go down the tubes. So they, they protect that a lot. Those getting his bar ready for him. Gibbons is now sitting on the bench. Getting Harry Lane's back. Getting a hold of the bar. Waiting for the signal. Here we go. Full lock down. Pause. He's got the press signal. Weightlifting. A lot of officers would like to take it out because they think if they get big, but a big, a big old tired weightlifter is a lot less of a threat than a little skinny guy who's out there doing nothing, walking around. Mel and Gibbons come in here and for an hour and a half just give it all they got. They don't have enough energy to get into any trouble when they leave here. Yeah. You know, the more, the more I can get them to do, keep their mind off of other stuff, you know, this is a bad place. You know, it's, it's a real bad place. I wouldn't want to live here. <laughs> he is in my way. I got no know something tonight. This man here is in my way. The psychological warfare has already begun. Man from the boys. Right? Yes, sir. This is set by 100 pounds. When he this 535, 540, he's got to go 635 or 640. Hard to get you? Yeah. Got to stay focused. Can't find too much energy. Trying to wait for it. Got to go and get it. Got to go and get it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. You ready? You got to be about it. You got to be about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Who's who, 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 who's doing what? That's the guy that had the. He had 505. He got 530. Give me some. Give me some. Put that shit through the floor. Let's go. Wow. just deadlifted 280 kilograms, almost three times his own body weight. I'm coming back there! Hey, like, babe, hey, look, babe, look good! Hey, hey. RV, you run this here! 
You run this here, my guy. A lot of people think that this is all brute strength. Probably about 75% of this stuff is mental, you know, concentration. The mind thing is what basically gets you through these meets because I can't go in there just any day of the week and just pick up 600 pounds off the floor. I just can't do it. I mean, I got to really focus. I got to really psych myself up because I'm only 230 pounds. Work, man. Go to work. Go to work, pal. Go to work. Today. 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 You run this. This is you, man. You run this, RB. To the head, baby. Show it to him. 650 pounds for bail. You got one over here. Hey, though. You got to tell us that's hate. Here he comes to the bar. 650 pounds. Good pull right here. Here we go. Hosanna! Hosanna! Bless this man to come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 565, right? Given 565. Good concentration. Here we go. All these guys, Bell, Gibbons, they're already at the professional level without the uh, hardware that you can get on the outside. When you lift on the outside, you have suits you wear to increase your strength, and they don't have those, and they're doing the weights that those people are doing without it. So if they get supplementation and their proper apparel, they, they could do a lot more weight. Unfortunately, on the inside as Soup may have blown this lift, but he's already outlifted his competitors. Yeah, he's got the competition tonight. And <laughs> he burned him. He got him. Oh, I'm the guy, Soup! Soup! Come on, get me down! In the name! Let me know! Oh, hey, 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 600 pounds for Hankins, right here. You just gonna get stronger as it go. What you want? Try what you want. 665, baby. Get money. Yeah, I'm going 665 on this. This is it. This, this is my last one. It better be perfect. Turn on the light, Bryce, and talk to it. Turn on the light, Bryce, and talk to it, baby. Pull this shit up. RB. Come on, you run this, man. This is your event. This here is your big brother. I'll visualize my lift. I'll walk through the whole lift in my head. I will actually complete the lift in my head before I'm even out there at the meet. So when I'm at the meet, then tunnel vision comes into play. I don't see nothing else, don't hear anybody, don't see nothing but that bar. It's me and that bar, and I just go and execute. It's all about a mind game. You gotta psych yourself up. No pain, no gain. Good concentration right here. This will be the hardest 
Paul Fruin and I are out here. Oh, yeah. Come on, you easy. Get it off, 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 Judges might have been able to see it different, but too much shaking. Looks like the bar from here sat there up and down. I can't, uh, I can't give it to him, so it went down. I thought he wasn't jerking and he got his shoulders locked down. Now he, he thought, I mean, of course, he got a little more experience at it than the judge and I have, but he, he calls this hitching. I thought he came up fairly smooth, but he didn't hesitate. He, he didn't drop the bar down. That's what I call hitching. It was an upward move. It looked good to me. At that weight, it looked darn good. <laughs> it was a good lift. You know, I got it up. I locked it out. One judge gave me the thumbs up. One judge gave me the thumbs down. I was trying to break my own record, with, uh, which was uh, 630. I went 635. I think my lift was good, just yeah. like Ken. Yeah. We, 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 really don't, we don't really uh, trip on it, because as uh, long as we get it off the floor, yeah. Yeah. you know, that's, that's, all, that's all we wanted. I work, I work in the kitchen. I'm on my foot eight hours, ten hours a day. But uh, I got a 615 deadlift. My, my record's in here stand. got the state record. I got the state record, so mm -hmm. until they break that, it's we all, all got the state yeah. record. Yeah, I got the I state got the record state in the deadlift. You know, I hey, got it in the bench too. It's always the state meet. The state meet is this summer, so I got 650, 650 on the board. I see enough of it. These guys are they're good lifters. Yeah, they're good. Thanks. As long as Murphy lets me keep coming back, I'll watch these yeah. guys grow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We appreciate y'all coming. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. 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 Good job. Good job. Yeah. It's been a good night, John. It's been a good night. It's been great. It's been great.